Hello everyone, Ryu Serpentine here. I am sorry about the late update on this episode, however I am attempting to work on another project at the same time. Uh, you should find out what that is starting tomorrow on the 12th. Uh, for now, let's get into this. Uh, I am of course back with the Boogeyman. I want to say this is part 8. Uh, let's see... That's right, the last part, we had the punch and yellow stuff. Uh, let's see... So where do we go to next? Well, have been here before. Let's see... Any hints anywhere? I guess I should say it first. Looks like I can push them, that's a good sign. Uh, at least means that there's a puzzle to solve. Let's see. I'm going to try getting all the black on the right and all the white on the left, see if that works out at all. Possible they need, may need to be in the places that they would be in in the actual game too, but I guess we'll find out soon enough. And that is actually a really loud noise. I am surprised about that. Okay, let's see. The pawn would be there. So let's move this one back. Just be safe, I'm gonna put everything where it should be. Is that the king or the queen? I can't tell. Actually, no, I think it's the bishop. Okay. Uh, let's see. From what I remember, knights are the next to rook. This is the queen that should go in the white space here. And the black queen would go directly across. What's in the way? Uh, let's see. Ah, the pawn. Okay. I'm just working out with what information I have at the moment. screwed this up, so let's get out of here and reset it, hopefully. I'm going to go with my original thing and just try to get all of one color on one side. Uh, if I do that, then maybe... P 
Keith, do you think you could climb over this? Who do you think I am? There's no way. Okay, that doesn't actually say anything. Tolerant gates, stone statues in the front. Okay, no new information there. Now, soon enough, if I have the right idea, I'm getting the feeling that I do not. There does seem to be exactly enough space to the side to work out this way. This is not how a chessboard would actually be set up. Is clearly not the correct answer then. Uh, maybe I do have to put them where they would actually be? Uh, let's see. I think there'd be a clue around here. I mean, that was the one I was supposed to get from the clown, but for whatever reason didn't. there's a missing piece somewhere, honestly. Let's see, one... Okay, maybe not. Uh, let's see... I'm gonna try putting them where they'd actually be. anything. I believe that's correct on that side. Now let's see the other side. If I cannot figure this out at a decent time, I will be looking up another walkthrough. Um, I am kind of ashamed that I've had to use the walkthrough so many times on this. Uh, let's see. I am going to have to look up a walkthrough. I will be right back. Okay, I am back. I have found an image of what it's apparently supposed to be like, and it is not at all like how an actual chessboard would be. Uh, so let's reset this again.
absolutely no sense to me the way they have it set up. Screwed up there, but I think I can rectify that. Okay, there we go. I see. Those are the pieces that weren't actually supposed to be on the board. That's interesting. So it does explain why I'm able to push them off. That worked. Okay. Uh, let's see. Save because that was a pain. And again, I think I was supposed to get a clue from that clown when, the, but the windup key didn't work for whatever reason. Uh, okay. Let's see what's here now. Uh, just bear with me a moment. Okay, what's this? Gray over a hole, nothing inside. Old one stool. Dirty plate on the back, it says... Doigahi, I'm guessing. Candle stand, filthy bed. Okay. So like basically the same stuff in here. So this looks like a dungeon. Yeah, I have no clue how to pronounce those names, and I am assuming they are names of prisoners. In fact, I'm betting this one has a name on it as well. Genolf... Yeah. That's gotta be the case. That's why I was in that one already. That's Sylvester. Yeah, I can't push the stool. Alright, I guess I go here. Sophie? Sophie, where are you? Sophie, come on out. Sophie, where are you? Sophie! Sophie, stop playing around. Okay, this Sophie. is creepy. Sophie? Richard? Sophie. Sophie, come on out. Sophie, where are you? So Sophie's missing. Sophie! That's what it sounds like. Sophie! Sophie? Sophie. Richard's voice didn't seem to come from here. At least the inside lock. So now I'm able to get back here. Richard! The Keith, David! The, do you know where Sophie is? She's gone? I just looked away from a second. She wasn't there. I, I can't find her anywhere. He, he might have kidnapped her. Come down. Start from the top. Telling such a thoughtful papa just to calm down won't do any good, you know. Where? You! Did you take my daughter? Where's Sophie? Ah, Richard, so scared your daughter will leave this world as soon as you're not looking. Just like your wife was robbed from you by a robber's gun. 
I think Richard might be from another game as well. I may need to look that one up. What? Don't listen to him, Richard. Your wife was such a cheerful and lively lady, Richard, but the truth is she was an unbelievable idiot, leaving herself in the care of a useless man like you. Ugh. Every time this boogeyman talks, I want to punch him more and more. But it must have been a happy death. Just one bang and she was gone. And what a beloved daughter she left behind. You fawn over her so. A real memento of your dear wife, yes? But humans do tend to die so easily, as I'm sure you're well aware. Stop it. Calm down, Richard. Don't listen to a word he says. Oh, poor Richard. Alas, the Grundlers are down to just one Grundler. But don't you cry. You'll be the Grundlers again soon. In hell. Don't you dare insult my family. What do you do with Sophie? Give her back this instant. If you even lay a finger on her, I'll... You, you monster. Richard, settle down. Well, I guess I'd better go. Cute little Sophie is waiting for me. Let's head back to Lance and Shirley. I'm so sorry. I never even noticed she was gone. And where was she? The bathroom. Thought she had to take a piss, but she never came back out. So we bust down the door and she fled the coop. Bathroom again. This must be the same one that we saw in that video before. There's definitely something here. Water in it. She's a little bigger than a dead goldfish. Okay, I needed that bit of humor. Sink, it seems to work fine. There's nothing in them. The vent. Okay, I get it. You. That little brat. Shirley, you think you're getting the, the vent above the bathtub? Way too tight, my shoulders won't even fit. She's small enough that she could have, though. You mean Sophie snuck out on her own? You couldn't sneak in through the windows. It's a sheer cliff outside, and I checked the room for any weird tricks when we first came in. The room of the bathtub is marked by the heat by heel made by heels, and some dust left fell from the vent above. So she must have climbed up on the tub to get in there. That scrawny, a hemp delicate girl could easily crawl, crawl through. Heath, you were a jerk. Richard, wait, you can't go alone. Please, let me go. That fiend has Sophie's grasp. We need to find not yet he doesn't. He's the kind of guy who puts out corpses for show. If he'd caught Sophie, he'd gladly flaunt it, I'm sure. He must have overheard Richard looking for Sophie and decided to meddle. We'll try to we'll find her before he does. Come on, David. Uh, and me too. You stay here. You're out of sorts right now. If you tried anything sudden, I couldn't guarantee your safety. Wait. But please, you must find her for me. She's my one and only daughter. After my wife passed away, I couldn't look her in the eye for quite some time. But still, she's grown to be a wonderful girl. She's my pride and joy. If anything happened to her, I'd... Again, Keith, you're a jerk. So sorry. Yeah, right. We'll find her. Just wait for us. Okay. That's new. So I think I'm going the right way. Okay, not there. Staircase will do some work. It's an odd way of doing it. Let's see. No. The table being new does make me think that I had the right idea as to where I'm going. Let's see. Ok, 
Okay, library. Expensive looking shelves. There are old cigars and pipes inside. The tongue in which these slaves speak is so savage I can't remember even a word. I had the servants translate and type some words for me. It should do well to sell this dictionary to my countrymen. Since it became so boring around here, I suppose I may as well try to learn, for if they should be saying anything impertinent out in the fields, I'll set them aflame on the spot. It's one way to pass the time, I suppose. Aha! I will be right back. I have to uh, get a screenshot of this. Uh, let's see. This should allow me to translate that note I had earlier. Okay. Let's see if I'm right. Save again first. Let's see stale paper. Words you don't understand written on it. Uh, yeah, it looks like that may be related to. Unfortunately, I'm still not able to actually figure out what it says. But I will keep this up and maybe I will figure something out. Okay, so that does match the word in that dictionary I found. Is it on the still paper at all? According to what I can find, it means moon. I don't see anything that looks like that. Cipher is not very helpful. This one means flower. That's wind. Sun. Okay, what am I missing then? Must be a clue to something. Is it the clue to? Is there anywhere where I've seen the sun and moon before? Possibly in that church? Church. Okay. I 
I know that I'm missing something completely obvious here, but... Uh, let's see... Okay, right, that's just the boiler room. Tile layout could really be better on this with the stairs. I keep having to kind of press down left at the same time to go down and up and right at the same time to go right. Okay, so that's lo apparently locked off to me. Uh, okay, right. Okay, I think I might actually be where I need to be. Just bear with me a moment. Just heard footsteps. Big hole, can't reach it. bring up that walkthrough again because I am completely lost. I must have been in the right area though because those footsteps were clearly something important. Let's see. Alright, it looks like uh, I may need to go back to my last save point, easy enough to do. Apparently this is the right area. Okay, and apparently there is... I should have checked these beds before. So the bed, something's underneath it. Take what's under the bed. Got a stale piece of paper. Okay. Let's bring back up that screenshot I took earlier. Paper 2. Words you don't understand are written on it. And I still don't have a clue because these do not match what I am seeing. Uh, let's see.
Alright, I hated that I had to do this, but I could not figure that out, so I had to use the uh, walkthrough again. Uh, because I, I cannot translate this even with the dictionary. It, it just... I can't see it well enough to be able to do it. If I go back in here, uh, maybe I should be looking under more places. see now. Okay. At least I think I see now. Um, so let's see, will this work? I thought I was supposed to be translating them myself, but it might be a case of... Pairing the paper with the dictionary, you got the gist of what was written. My companion, I am to enter the dungeon. I know that my head will be taken off, displayed outside as a warning. I am sorry that I was unable to hand it off to you. Please be careful. Okay, and what does the second one say? Comparing the paper with the dictionary, you got the gist of what was written. Fellow prisoners, we will bear this no more. It is time we stand up against these tyrants. We will fight for our companions laboring on the outside. I have obtained a key that will let us out get outside. We will wait until night, enter the garden, and join with our fellows in the fields. We will watch vigilantly and take the castle for ourselves. The four of us will pass the key from one to another each day in the same order as the song our people know. Sir, nothing unusual. Look closer. It's nothing unusual. Nothing unusual. Nothing unusual. There. Nothing unusual. I'm um, where this would be pretty boring, but I want to just check on absolutely everything.
Something stuck to the back of the grate. Got a key. Okay, they sit out the garden. I am going to save here while I check on something else, and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. It looks like I'm going to have to be very careful in this next part to be able to get the happy ending. How do I get there again? Uh... Oh, was that my clue? Wow. He's sort of arranged on a chessboard. Yep, that would have been my clue. Okay. I'm an idiot. Missed that one. The battleground is still at peace. The armies all lined up in their camps, and the foolish soldiers will not move an inch, and even the gatekeepers will sleep on the job. Again, part of the clue I completely missed. Wow. I am a moron. Iron door is locked. Okay. here. Just gonna keep saving. Rust iron door which won't open, it seems to be locked. Any chance that the... Nope, because I don't have the key anymore. Okay. Yeah, this is pleasant. Water feels depression the floor. The hell is that? You can see a drain at the bottom. A grave. <coughs> that scared me. back. Why do I have to be like this on our first vacation in ages? I wonder if Helena is okay. Oh, I'm playing as Sophie now? Oh, it's Sophie. Is something the matter? Why do you marry Mr. Keith, Helena? Why'd you ask that? Well, I felt like my heart doesn't even ever beat fast anymore. I can think people are great and all, but that's it. I can't get excited about them like I used to. It's like I forgot how to love. Oh, that's so sad. Dave and Shirley get along really well, so I'm jealous. I don't want to be by myself forever. So I'd like to know why you and Mr. Keith decided to get together, Helena. You know, love is like a jewel. It's buried deep in a person's heart, and one day you just dig it up. Feeling like love and sympathy can create all different kinds of jewels, though jealousy, anger, and pride can shatter them too. Have you ever found such a jewel? 
Yeah, but I got rejected. Don't worry, you'll find it again. I hope you can make a wonderful jewel someday. So what's your jewel like, Helena? Mine is already complete. I don't want to meddle with it anymore. I just want to keep it deep in my heart. It's so windy. Your hair's a mess, young lady. We should get back inside. I still feel like there's something seriously wrong going on here with Helena. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so I am playing as her now. Since we know she went up the van, this is the obvious. I doubt this goes outside, it must go somewhere else in the castle. Alright. Oh, great. Frickin' maze. Dead end. So let's go and do the follow the wall trick, see if that works out for me. And I... I am so thoroughly creeped out right now. Light seems to be great, there's a room below. I'm hoping I can get out of here. Ow! That hurt, glad I'm out of there. Okay, now I have to find Helena. Okay, let's see. Pile boxes, who knows what's inside them? Locked shells. Pile boxes, pile boxes. Key rack with only one key on it. Can I get the key? Yes, I can. Okay. Uh, let me just double check something. Uh, let's see. Alright, uh, hopefully I have this correct. Uh, let's see... Maybe I can unlock it now, make things easier. Nothing inside, okay. Oh, look, something smells funny in here. Is something there? Hi there, sweetie. Oh no. You've been a bad girl, Sophie. Why do you want to make your father cry? Perhaps you wish to see your mother again? Oh god, this has to be Boogie. Where's Helena? Sophie, are you mad at me? It's been so long since our last meeting. What are you talking about? Don't you remember? We've met time after time in every bad dream you had as a child. I'll take you to the world inside the closet. But first, we need to play some more. Why don't you look after my pets? Oh god. They're a bit hungry, but they're lively pups. Have fun. Take your time. Uh, uh, um, cute little doggies, I, I'm busy right now, so why don't we play later? No, st stay away from me, you stupid dogs. Lock, it won't open. Okay, well, let's see. Lock, it won't open. Shelsky, please? No? Too tall to climb. Too tall to climb. Uh... Okay. Okay, uh, so that only 
worked so far. Oh, I got game over. Okay, yeah, I definitely need to check again because I have no clue what I was supposed to do there. Uh, let's see. Okay, uh, hopefully I have this correct. Skip that. Uh, let's see. Two fold climb. Can I use the key here? Yes, I can. Phew. That was the solution. Okay, I, just, I thought I had to go back to the other room somehow. Stop it already, please, stay away! No! Huh? Why'd they fall asleep? What? Sophie! David! Mr. Keith! Dog? Sophie, what happened in here? Th that man locked me in here. He... Sick those dogs on me. Sick them? They look asleep to me. The note that they were just up and attacked me, then all of a sudden, they fell asleep. It was really sudden. Yet, yeah, they fell asleep so quickly as if... Keith? What were you thinking? Can you even imagine how m much you worried your father, you idiot? I I just wanted to find Helena. Don't give me excuses. I told you not to leave that room. Why don't you do what? Why don't you do what I tell you? Uh, this sounds like an abusive relationship thing. Uh, Keith. Stand up. Tell me you'll never do anything to make your father cry again. Say it. I'll never do it again. Let's go back. Sophie. Oh, thank God, Keith. David, thank you so much. Sophie, why did you leave the room? Oh, duh, she already said that. I went to look for Helena. I was just really worried. How worried was I when you were gone? Please don't leave without telling me again. Mr. Keith. I'm sorry. Thank you for coming to find me. Don't take your eye off that brat, Richard. It'll be the death of her. David. Why don't you do what I tell you to? How did I told you not to play in here? What if a pot or a knife fell on you? Sorry, Dad. Oh no. So why are you playing around here? Um, I was playing Please Me and, um, it's snowing today. So? This mat here is white and fluffy like snow, so... Oh no. Oh... Oh no, please don't let this be what I think it is. Do you want to join the police, Todd? Yeah, I want to be a policeman like you, Dad. Oh well, but a policeman has to follow the rules. A boy who breaks rules can't join force, it's the law. Well, unless you have connections, right? Connections? Who taught you a word like that? You did, Dad. 
Well then, you'll join the force with your connections? That's a lame way to do it. Lame? Yeah, some of my buddies got in by connections, but they're all dumb, unpopular, and really lame to boot. You want to be a lame policeman, Todd? Nuh-uh, I'll be a cool policeman. Then no relying on connections, or playing pretend in the kitchen. Mom should be back from shopping soon. Let's go meet her. Okay, don't want Mom to run into any swindlers. That and I'll protect her. Swindlers? Now who taught you that one? You did, Dad. Right, well, let's go. Are we taking the car? I've got a better idea. Ow! Oops, sorry. Oh no. This is going to be an issue with gunplay, isn't it? Keith, what's the matter? Just thinking about my son. You have a son? He's dead. Uh, that's what I thought. Whether it's for the reason I think, I don't know, but... Okay, let's see... Everything about this creeps me out. Uh, maybe I should go to where I found Sophie? Definitely a grave there. Also, there might be a path through the trees here, or that could just be the window. No, if that's just a window size, okay. Uh. Arm gate, door's locked, and I don't think I have a key anymore. No. Okay. these steps lead to. Iron door, it's locked. Hey, Keith, are you going in there? Can't I? Well, uh, don't tell me you're afraid. When I was a kid, this wild dog chased me around for like an hour. For such a big guy, you really, you're really a wimp. Okay, so I cannot go into the dog room. At least that's my understanding. Yeah, can't go inside. Okay. Uh, let's see. I 
I think I'm almost to the end, so I want to try to finish this, but if I can't... Right, that's the green room. Okay. Gonna keep entering different rooms until I figure something out. That's the music box. Okay. Piano room. Supposed to enter here again. Nope, won't let me. Okay. Uh, let's see. for him. Let's get back there. Okay, that's not it. Okay, is it? Alright, now that I have an idea where I am, footsteps. Okay, uh, let's see, a big hole on the wall, you can't reach it. David, let me ask a favor. My neck's gonna break. Hey, quit shaking. Don't you work out at all? Why are you trying to get up there anyway? That big-headed freak, he's always vanishing when there's no way out and appearing from nowhere too. He's clearly using routes we don't know about. I need to learn more about them. This wall's been painted over, so I'm sure there's a path up ahead. That, that doesn't explain using me as a footstool. Climb up there and get your weight off my shoulders. Well, that's could have worked, but I wouldn't push a wounded guy. And for your information, only 3% of that weight is fat. So excuse you. Toss me your lighter. I'll look ahead, don't move from that spot, shout for me if anything happens. Saving there because I do not trust this in the slightest. Uh, let's see.
out the lighter. Okay, let's see. Small door in the ceiling. Do nothing first because I want to save before I can completely screw everything up. Open the door. Key rack with no keys. This can actually the room where Lance was held. Some sort of operation console. Okay, get back inside then. getting scared by that phone. <sighs> I wish I can actually answer it. Apparently not. It really bugs me that I apparently can't answer it. Okay, I think that's where I saw Helena before. The people who have crippled you, you want to see them burn. I think this might be where I need to be. Crumble bowls of paper. Okay, uh, so turn off the lighter and get here. Don't move, you're under arrest. Um, technically, don't you not have the power to arrest right now, Keith? <laughs> <laughs> Your wife has got a good butt on her, it really makes me want to chase after her. Where is she? Where? Ah, detective, how careless. Trying to take me on in such close quarters. I hate to say such a rude thing to a detective, but not really. I'm not even sure what happened there. Was that a taser or a gun? Dummy. Keith, my poor darling. You watched me as I wallowed in the depths of despair. And there you stood with your back against the edge. Now, it's time that you finally learn. You need pride. You need peace. So go ahead. Take it all. But, don't you see, in the end there will be nothing left of you. Hopefully I didn't miss any triggers for the happy ending. I start the lighter off, don't I? Dick Anderson, age 39, job assistant, police inspector, robbery, murder division, family, wife, two children, rest has been torn off. Dick? Wait, isn't that my boss?
scrap of paper and an IC recorder, something scribbled on the paper. You just want to hear her. Where is this? Who, who are you? What's going on? Hello, Mrs. Baring. Who? Call me Boogie, ma'am. I'm about to begin the game befitting such a joyful night. I'd appreciate your participation as well. Run from me, miss. I I'm sorry, I don't know what you mean. Where's my husband? Where am I? Why is that man tied up? Ah, uh, he's an assistant. He can quickly explain to you how this will all work. If I should catch you, this happens. <coughs> Understand the rules now? Where's my husband? Somewhere you wouldn't know about. Where's my husband? Okay, she's badass. He can't save you. He's in my grasp. It's up to me if he lives or dies. Now run, Mrs. Baring. The game begins, and I am it. So, I was on the inside of the cell? Wait. She was the... Oh. Wow. That is mind-blowing. So I thought she was trying, but she was actually trying to get me out. You keep going under. There's that phone again. Cal hangs on the wall. Russian mop. Detergent. Old man's corpse. The body's decayed and maggots are starting to swarm. It's probably been months. Something's next to the corpse. Got a rusty key. The iron door seems to be locked from the other side. Okay, so I can't get up that way. At least not yet. This was the side she was on then. Small door in the ceiling, open the door. Right, I was here already, okay. Then. Thanks for the lighter. Keith, did something happen? A big head knocked me out cold. Well, what? No wonder you took so long. Are you okay? The quiff died easily, but more importantly... No, forget it. There was another corpse. I think one of the servants has been dead a few months. A few months? Isn't that kind of odd? Yeah, it is. It's not like he got stuck there and couldn't get out. He was clearly murdered with a knife. What a ridiculous place. I never wanted to come somewhere so shady. What about this shady? Since when are there castles in this country? I thought something was up the moment my boss told me about a castle tour. Then I found out it's the mansion of some European guy from the colonial era. It's got a history of Native American persecution to boot. Okay, that's the, uh... Okay, that's the slave part of the dictionary then. You can't open this kind of a place to the public. You wouldn't get the tourist trap. You'd get a lawsuit. The tribes that got persecuted here are still around. What was that Brennan guy even thinking? Guess we'll never know. If you're suspicious, then why did you come? Because Helena wanted to. Had I known it was this bad, no way. I wouldn't want her to learn this kind of bloody history. 
the month off, I could have taken her anywhere, but I chose here, and then this happens. So it was for Helena. You never seemed to pay her much mind, so I thought you didn't even like her, honestly. I wanted to pay her more attention, but I couldn't. My subordinate kept calling so much, I couldn't catch a break. The detectives have it rough. They're still cool, though. I'm on vacation, so I'm just a plain old guy right now. Come on, let's go. I think I know what to do with that key. The question is, can I remember how to get there? Okay, that's the wrong way. Here, that should make things a bit easier. I want to go down this way, I believe. This atmosphere really creeps me out. Those were slave cells. Ugh. Not the room I want. I'm pretty sure it's here, though. Not the one I want. Let's see. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's this. Yep. Please down to the waterway. Can't go with with David in terms with corpses. Alright, I am going to save here, and I think that is good for now. I will uh, catch you guys in the next video, and have a good one. Bye!